really nice because it's over there and I really can't. It's yeah. Like, just yeah. Keep talking to you. <laughs> we are from Raleigh, North Carolina, and we came into this lifestyle blissfully ignorant. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. We we watched a ton of YouTube stuff. Like we had talked, we actually were gonna like move to Central America, and then we decided, you know, there's so much of the United States that we haven't even seen yet, and it's just a drive away. So we started started scaling down and scaling back, and we we're like, okay, so if, you know, Central America is not an option. What's the next option? Is it, you know, what are we gonna do? Um, we had been planning for three years to do something sold our house, got rid of half of our junk, and, mm. you know, just kind of scaled down to a smaller apartment. And um, I can remember the pivotal moment is um, we saw a video of uh, Finding Simon, and uh, he had just started off on, like, his. it was like the beginning of the van life thing. Mm -hmm. And I looked over at her, and I was like, we could do that. And I was like, we could totally do that. Don't play with me, because we'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, from that point on, like we uh, we just got into it. And, like started like researching and like looking at stuff, and we pretty much scaled down our house to well, even our house was an apartment to where all all we did like baby steps each month. Like we would like scale down like all of our kitchen stuff to one cabinet. We would only oh. use that one cabinet. And then we like wouldn't even use our bedroom anymore. We like mm -hmm. pulled the mattress that slept in the camper in the living room. So we just slept in the living room in the kitchen. So we just like scaled down yeah. a little by little each time. That way it wouldn't be like such a shock yeah. Yeah. for us once we got into the van. We got rid of our uh, washer and dryer. So we had to make like inconvenient of like going and actually yeah. doing laundry and like that Cooking kind of stuff. Cooking one pan That's only hard. on a stove top. So we were practicing yeah. at least three or four months before we ever got into our van. So when we moved from our 700 square foot apartment into maybe three or 200 square feet of that apartment, lived like that for a few months. Then we moved into a 60 square foot, 19 feet long uh Dodge Fiesta 1989 camper van and it took us five months to renovate the van and it was a really fun project that we got to do together gutted the whole thing did the whole thing and um, set out September 1st of 2016 that's awesome became yeah. a dress list officially we already had a recipe book and like everything of like all of our <laughs> staple stuff that we cook <laughs> like in the house that we could cook on the road like one pan meals and like all that awesome. stuff like we we're like we geeked out about it i mean like we really like we really That's went for the gusto on that part so the van was completely different than this yeah. so so we did the van thing for like seven months and then it was like okay there put was the a brakes. lot of there was a lot of pros yeah. but the cons started to weigh down and the biggest con was that we ended up finding an online job. And while that was an amazing blessing to be able to work from the road and make an income where we thought maybe we'd just be able to budget, travel for a year, and then go back to normal life, this made it seem like, well, maybe we could do this longer than a year. Okay, great, maybe we'll live in a van longer than a year. Um, but then internet started always being an issue as we got out west, uh, feeling very unstable with every other day, having to figure out the Wi-Fi situation. Um, that started to weigh on us a ton. Mm -hmm. um, the bed situation, because it's a lofted bed above the driver and passenger seat, your faces, I could do this, and it would literally touch the ceiling, yeah. you know, um, it was that close. And I have to be honest, that got old after a while, just not being able to like fully, yeah. you know, Can't turn over. So the sleeping felt like a bit of an issue, and the internet was a bit of an issue. And these were all like, felt like my issues because he was thrilled, he was stoked about it. He like, he loved everything about it. It was gravy and everything was good, but uh, it started to wear on us and not feeling like we were on the same page. We'd never really even been in that territory as a couple. Mm -hmm. And we're like, okay, whoa, whoa, let's put up, let's pump the brakes. This isn't, if this isn't fun anymore, what are we doing? Then that's when we started talking about getting a bigger space. So yeah, we just bought this thing three weeks ago, and this thing's like a aluminum palace. I mean, yeah. it's. <laughs> I mean, each. I mean, it, the van had its pros of, yeah. as far as like, be it was mobile, you could go anywhere with it. I mean, anywhere you wanted to go, and like, it, say if you went into the Grand Canyon National Park, you could go there, and then you could go right outside and camp right there. I mean, like, you could park the thing anywhere, whereas like 
something more like this, your your added cost is a little bit more expensive. Um, but you want somewhere safe to park it so that when you leave it, you're not leaving it on unwatched or unmonitored BLM land or something like that. Yeah. So that's kind of the con is there's not as many free, safe opportunities mm-hmm. to just leave your Airstream and go hike for the yeah. day. Because usually with the van, you're always with the van. I mean, always, you know, you don't have like a travel vehicle to go to Walmart or whatever. You're taking the van with you wherever you're yeah. going. Plus it looks like a little like rinkety grandma van. So nobody's yeah. going to mess with it. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I just, I don't live with regrets. I'm thankful for all the experiences, and I really, truly, that sounds cliche, but I really, truly do feel that way. I'm thankful for all the experiences. Charlie says... Yeah, I wish we would have done it sooner. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's... uh, The lifestyle is... I've lost 25 pounds. Like, I'm hiking every single day. We're riding bikes. We're kayaking. We're doing something. I'm not sitting behind a desk and, like, stuffing my face with fast food. Like, we cook breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Mm -hmm. Um, It's crazy. I mean... it's insane the difference in lifestyle we were like going to work and like zombies when we got home to where now it's we're just always outside doing something and yeah. just physically active and I feel better now than I ever have. We don't vlog or anything like that just because it takes so much time. Like vloggers like you guys Mad props, mad props y'all. Props, yeah. <laughs> yes, that's like, a I lot of like, work. I feel like that's just like all you guys do is just like edit videos to post and edit videos to post so we really didn't want to do that so the only thing we really have is an instagram so our instagram is slow down see more it was van life together and then since we sold the van we're like van life dropouts we had to change our <laughs> name, so. van life dropouts so we kind of changed <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah the whole point of kind of getting the airstream was to like slow down to a slower sp- pace so we can see more because we found that we were like blasting through the whole country in the van we were just like here a day here a day here a day here a day we're missing so much of what was around and just the past like three weeks of being able to just like slow down like we've been in page for two weeks now and i feel like we just like scoured the town we like met people in the town like yes we had people bring us spinach last night like that we met in town like from their garden and stuff like that it just you, get to, you miss that living a really fast-paced lifestyle <laughs> thank you so much we That's have really me. enjoyed thank getting you. to know you guys <laughs> and we meet cool people like this who park beside us uh, <laughs> 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 32 square foot <laughs>